selection of the finest machines for sewing, embroidery, and monogramming. On site service, repairs, and more. And exciting classes all in our store. It's so easy in Shreve City. The sewing shop. KTBS3 has learned that multiple customers have now filed criminal claims against the owner of that store, alleging they paid for sewing machines they never received. KTBS3's uh, John Oakes spoke with one of those customers today. So, John, what did he tell you? Jeff, he's certainly frustrated about what's going on. He says he was hesitant to go to police at first, but feels there isn't another alternative. Jack Martin went to buy his wife a sewing machine for her birthday. He had no idea it would become an ordeal. We ordered it that day, which was, a, I don't know if I can say it, Brother NS2750D model. That day, paid full price, and we were told that day, two weeks, we would have it. Two weeks later, he returned to the store to pick up the machine and learned that it wasn't there. And when I went in, they were surprised I was back and told me, well, there's no way they could have promised us two weeks. Right now, with COVID, everything's um, on back order or on the boats. Martin waited a few more weeks until he was finally able to get in touch with Steve Cobb, the owner. He told me that the equipment had arrived and it was in the warehouse at Tennessee waiting to be loaded under truck. I said, well, I can run up there and get it. He says, no, the truck's coming. It'll be here. Martin once again waited, only to hear from a friend that the store was closed down. He had no prior warning about the closing. He says a former employee informed him that Cobb had cut off communication. And she told me that Steve has disconnected everything and not taking any phone calls. I have no way of personally getting a hold of him. I don't know where he lives or his, his personal cell phone. Martin has now brought criminal action against Cobb to get his money back. Shortly after the store's abrupt and unexpected closing, many angry customers left bad reviews about the sewing shop. Sarah Ware writes, I would suggest contacting the BBB on this company. It seems that they have closed and not mentioned anything to anyone. Can't get them on the phone, and the Facebook page seems to be gone. I would also contact the vendor you ordered your machine from and see if they could be any help. In the process of doing all this now, dishonest people ruining businesses are a huge pet peeve of mine. Hopefully everyone is able to get their situations taken care of. I give zero stars, but you can't post without it. Leslie Barrett writes, Do not buy from this thief. He stole my friend's $8,200 with empty promises that the Juki long arm machine was on the truck. She had to file a complaint with her credit card company after eight months of hoping and waiting. Steve never tried to make it right and even quit answering his phone after stealing $8,200. Unreal, lame, fraudulent business practices. Don't trust his fake words. Buyer beware. Joe Kelly writes, Sometimes a deal that seems too good to be true is. Steve quoted us a phenomenal price on a new long arm with 10 foot frame, beat everyone else's prices easily. After the usual questions and research, we took the deal. That was June of 2021. Should be here in about two weeks, we were told. I'll call you when it comes in, we were told. Weeks went by with no call. Sometimes a dream turns into a nightmare. We call for updates. We had one, but it went to another customer. It's on the way. Had one, but someone else got it and other excuses. We asked what we could do to lock one down and we were told that we could pay in advance. That would probably fix the problem. So we paid the nearly $8,200 and started making plans to drive to Shreveport to pick up our new machine. I'll call you when it gets here, Steve said. Surely it would be there in two weeks or so, right? That was October of 2021. Weeks went by. We called. It's on the way. I've got the frame in the store now. It's on the truck in town now. And many more excuses, but no machine. In January of 2022, thinking that the supply chain issues must be the problem, we called the U.S. headquarters on that long arms manufacturers to ask when they expected to get machines in the U.S. again. Much to our surprise, they said they had plenty of machines and assured us that there would be no reason for us to not have a machine within a couple of weeks if we ordered one from an authorized dealer. Like the sewing shop in Streetport, in February, we gave up and filed a dispute with our credit card company and we found in favor. 
Lesson learned. You bet. Don't trust Steve at the sewing shop. Three felony warrants for Cobb's arrest were issued on May 4th. Cobb is thought to have possibly left the Shreveport area. It's so easy in Shreveport.